So today we finally see a release of the firmware for Carback. And clear. So today we see the release of a firmware for the Element, Element Bolt and Element Roam with Ant Plus radar support. One of the most requested features that people wanted in their Wahoo head units. It's here. I've been out here riding it for a few weeks. It has been brilliant. And I can see a peacock up the road. What the hell? Hang on, I'll get back to the video in a moment. Okay, we're a few kilometers down the road and the peacock is safely off the road. So back on topic, the radar support for Wahoo head units. First of all, we'll cover the Varia radar if you're not familiar with that, and then we'll look at the Wahoo implementation of the support. One of my previous videos covered the RTL 510 Varia radar in depth. I will link below to that video, but as a recap, in case you're just new to what these are. Well, first of all, it sits on the back of your bike and will detect objects coming at you faster than 10 kilometers per hour. The specified distance is 140 meters, but I think with a clear line of sight, this thing will pick up things a little further than that too. This unit can distinguish up to eight objects approaching from behind, and it will then start flash mode too. So the way I use this is solid light on, and if it detects a vehicle or an object coming at you, it will then start the flash mode to alert them that you're there. It can also distinguish vehicles at higher speed. So normally a vehicle coming at standard speed, I guess, will cause an orange alert on the head unit and something coming at a higher speed will detect as a red alert on screen. And for those playing at home, it operates in the 24 gigahertz range. That's the quick recap of what the radar does. Let's have a look at the implementation on the Wahoo head units. Onto our hands-on look with the element bolt, the original element and the newer element roam. Now, as they boot up, the Varia radar has a test mode we can put this in so we can see how it operates across all three without actually going out on the road. So we put this into test mode by press and hold. It will start flashing and that's now in test mode. I'm going to put that aside so we know that's beeping and pretending to pick up cars. So I'll put that over to the side and we'll see how these three units, I've already prepared them all and you can see it already picking up on the bolts. That won't be too far off once this initializes and this initializes across all three. And I have paired just the one Varia radar to all three over Ant Plus. So that's happy. You can see it happening on there and voila, we have it happening on here on the Rome too. The demonstration mode with the Varia radar is only one single vehicle or car coming at standard speed, not fast speed. So it only turns orange, not red. And you can see the differences between the models here. So we have the monochrome screens on these two with the gray sidebar and the color sidebar on this one here on the Roam. Now the sidebar will remain active with the radar connected. So we disconnect the radar. Okay, we'll turn that off and you'll see the sidebar is disconnected. So the radar is flat, falling off your bike, not turned on. And if that is the case and you expect it to be there, that will also happen. It'll say radar disconnected. So if it does fall off the back of your bike, you'll get a warning on that. Okay, radar disconnected. We turn it back on to normal mode. I always have mine standard solid. When it detects an object, it'll start flashing. And you can see there, bar, bar, and bar. <laughs> Indicating the radar is turned on, paired, and it's got your back. Back into test mode here, and if there are multiple cars, you will see multiple cars on the screen here, up to eight cars at once. Very handy if you're coming into a roundabout or an intersection to see multiple cars back. So if you're gonna claim the lane, you know there's more than one car behind you. The radar support is identical on these two units, the original Element and the Roam. They have the same screen size and have the same LED configuration down the side across the top. On the Bolt, there's only the top LEDs there, so there's no configuration options for side LEDs. So that's the default support for the radar across all three units. You can see the differences there between them. I'm gonna turn these ones off now, and we'll focus on just the Roam and the configuration options, which is the same as the Element as well. Okay, loading the Element Companion app here to configure the Element Roam. 
and we are connected with 23% battery. It's due for a charge in just a few moments. So the configuration, we can go to LEDs and sound. If we scroll down, we can go to radar alert settings. We have options for alerts on or off. So if we turn the alerts off, you can see there, things switch off straight away. Back on. We can turn off the sounds, if you like. So the sounds have disappeared, but the visuals are all still there. We can show radar status in top LEDs. So we can turn the top LEDs off and just have the on-screen display. Plus the sound back on if we like. And alternatively, we can have the left LEDs shown with nothing else on screen. You can see there the left LEDs are now used to indicate the cars approaching and going clear. Flash for detect, moving forward, and clear. And we can turn the sounds back on for those as well if we like. So for me, alerts on, on-screen display, status along the top LEDs, and sounds on is what I use for the rides that I do. For the rest of this demonstration though, I'll turn the sounds off. Okay, so we can go back. We can also get to the configuration option under sensors. So set up sensors and bike radar after it is paired there. We can see the alert settings, which takes us to the same screen we can get to. A few other things to cover off is the on head unit configuration of this device. So we go to the device options here, we click more, and we only have options for alert modes, that being on, muted, or off. So if you are riding along in heavy traffic, or there just happens to be a lot more traffic than normal, you can change the alert configuration on the head unit as you ride. Mine's typically left to on. And finally, the radar, or the Varia radar, is a dual light and radar device. They're two different things, and they require two different AMP Plus support profiles. Now, on Garmin head units, their head units have both profiles. At this point in time, the Wahoo implementation of support for this device is only for the radar, not for the light. So you will need to manually turn this on and turn this off, which has pretty much been my preference anyway, because the light profile support for AMP Plus is a little flaky. That's about it for the configuration of all of that. And do note, if the unit does go flat under 10% battery, you will get this warning here, indicating that you need to charge your radar device. So there we have it, all the details about the Wahoo support for the radar. Now it's not just the Varia radar. Radar is an open standard, so the Varia is the only ones on the market at the moment that could change at any time. Before I wrap this one up, a few things to note about the radar and how it operates. A few people will say that it doesn't operate as it should. It won't detect vehicles coming slow or vehicles moving at the same speed. That's not its job, that's how it operates. False positives and false negatives are always asked about with radar device. For me, my experience is false positives every now and then. Typically I'll turn around and see a big tree swaying in the wind that this thing will pick up. Oh, I think it's the tree. Or it's something else that's a car that's come at me and then turned off and the car's no longer there. Usually explains that the false positives aren't too bad. False negatives, the dangerous ones where it doesn't pick a car up, hasn't occurred. This thing's pretty good at what it does. And look, I'll be honest, this unit is not for everyone. If you're riding on a very, very busy road, it's just a beep factory. That's all it's gonna do is flash all the time. Of course there's cars back. But for the riding I do, it's a complete game changer and easily the best piece of tech that I've added to my bike in the last few years. And my final, more general disclaimer about radar usage is it's not another set of eyes, it's not another set of ears, and it doesn't replace having to do a head check just to be sure. It's like having a rider on your wheel yelling car back all the time, that there's a car there. As mentioned earlier, I'll put links below to my video on this device and how it was a game changer in the very first few kilometers of use last year. It's absolutely brilliant. If you're a user of one of these, let me know below. But if you're a Wahoo user as well, there you go, you've got support today. Links below to the firmware details. Thanks for watching and remember to hit subscribe to support this channel. Oof. I was gonna do that as a bit of a joke. <laughs> I can see just a single dot in front of me now. Didn't make the baby cry. No. I can just see a, I, you're you're just a dot. It's like hell. Hello, Dave.